Pa 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 pa. Ready to to go back. Pa 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 pa. You already know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> it's your boys Davey from Mars Podcast. To my left, it is the beautiful in all whites. I mean, it's a bit of a different shade, but nice. basically, Cream. he's bright. He's bright today. It's Mr. Captain Le Brizzle. How does it feel to be colorblind? That's cream. <laughs> oh. I'm colorblind as well, you bitch ass. So that's why I was asking. <laughs> Dead chat. Fucking Dead dog. chat. <laughs> I, oh, if there's ever a time I can be mad at Great banter. That um, to- <laughs> and <laughs> our vibes controller not behind the computer. He is basically our guest tonight, but we're not going to fucking ask him a damn question. <laughs> Sponsor us. It's your boy, DJ D. Dooley. Shout Welcome back DJ to episode D. 83. 83. 83 episodes. Next week. It's quite a big one. Massive one. Then it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, no, but the max we could have done is 104. So we're not that <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I was, yeah, I was stupid for a second because I was like, we've done yeah, this for almost two years. <laughs> 365 times two even. <laughs> and we've done 84. <laughs> Fuck sake. No, nah, but okay, so what, what's, anyway, what's 52 yeah, times me. two? 104. 104, I just said. Yeah. We're going to just make sure. So yeah. we've missed that. So. 20. 20 episodes but what's that's, coming that's next disgusting. week disgusting how do we miss 20 no, weeks that's why th- uh, yeah. no one actually look at the stats here but some random shit happened on our like youtube versus spotify and everything like there's there's oh, 78 fix, e- it, there's yeah. like 78 episodes on apple apple podcast as oh, so we missed this is like no this is four episodes to st- the not co- uploaded <laughs> yeah like gone with the we're wind we're less than what we just said oh by the way it's our two year anniversary next week that's what we're talking about yeah if you didn't catch to, on to vibes being vibes you guys mm. we owe you more than we could give you we'll get in all the sappy shit next life. week because we still might not make it there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's thank you when we do it. <laughs> That's fair. Dylan, sometimes Davey and I drive here together. And when we do, we think it makes for a great episode. Why? Because Davey had a very important question for me. And I was like, Davey, I'll ask it to you so that you get the chance to answer. So David, here it is. Would you rather have bomb sex in, in whatever situationship relationship whatever but that person feeds you absolutely nothing emotionally or mentally or would you rather have someone where the sex is ass but you feel like you couldn't be a better human being like you genuinely feel like oh my goodness i am all fulfilled on all cylinders except sexual so the main reason i wanted to say this part is because i was i'm put in i put math to the equation now because how often are you having sex what like in like in life like if it's you it's every day they say you sleep for like four years of your life that's a lie that's more i'm sure four years of your no, life no no more no no i'm sure more i'll gladly i'm not gonna <laughs> you fight. sleep four years maybe your life buddy listen we need to address this <laughs> you awake. need to sleep day. <laughs> <laughs> both of you <laughs> fucking up <laughs> How many years? David. I said, yes. <laughs> David gets like two hours of sleep in his whole fucking... You know what kills me the most? is like, we're such a like well-respected podcast these days. People want to be on and all of this. And then in the first five seconds, David's like, dude, make sure that we talk about that. <laughs> okay. I just figured out how long a mattress is meant to last. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What the fuck was that wormhole? Um, I don't know. Don't forget I, to flip see, your mattress. See, the easy, the easy thing would be to say bomb sex because I, I've, b- I've been, I've been in that situation where it was good sex, but <laughs> you were losing, you, you were losing things. Like, <laughs> it just wasn't good. It wasn't fun times, but you yeah. were sacrificing things. Yeah, that's the thing. It's because you are like if then if they, if they're not feeding you emotionally at all, what, what are you doing? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, at all, like at all. And uh, and not like only that, not at all. Yeah, yeah. they drain you. It's yeah, draining. It's you don't feel like you. Like anymore. literally, because it's... I also think sex is the easiest one, like one to say yes to, like that no, in that like situation. But I feel like if you actually think about it, like we've never been fully fulfilled. I think, you know, sexually. Like no, 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 not sexually. Life, sorry, my toes go, boss. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you know, like like in life, like fully happy, fully fulfilled. You know, like in yeah, every yeah, facet yeah. that I feel like would, you know, I'd take that any day. Yeah, if I, I, I could, I would be celibate for the rest of my still, life. No, you have to have sex though. What do you but mean? It's just so 
it's that's just so up. bad. It's just always oh, but so bad. Oh, so it's the same amount of sex in yeah. both scenarios yeah, yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah. But it's just so bad. So bad. It's, it's like what is like, that strange? It's like think, think about this. It's like it's like a fucking boxing round. Like you get the call up and every fucking day. It's, <laughs> it's fucking Drew Barrymore, oh, Adam this. Sandler, Fifty oh. First. She's like, are you ready for me to rock you? It's like you barely <laughs> even fucking like you're an earthquake in Joburg, babes. I just imagine like half of the time is foreplay and she's not even naked. She's just like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? You Get know what, ready, baby. <laughs> you know what I love about both of you. Hey, what's fucking jokes is that none of you have considered that maybe you're the one who should have sex. The sex you're having is bad, oh, wow. but maybe it's your fault. Yo, that's have deep. you ever considered that? Well, I could not possibly <laughs> be bad. <laughs> Me, the problem. <laughs> Never that. Yeah, I that's agree. That's actually you. deep, though. I don't <laughs> think about it like that. No, if you're the problem. Even. Imagine you're someone, because I think you all have that person in that scenario of, bo- like, shit sex. What, would you think it was you? No, no, no. No, like, in if someone's giving this scenario. <laughs> Unrelatable. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if, if you give this, someone that scenario, they think about someone who's like, oh, this person's good at sex, this person's shit at sex. And it's like, imagine you're that person. Who are your two? <laughs> Who are so, your? wait, do people come up in your mind straight away? If I no, say bad yeah. sex. Never once. You don't think of one person? I haven't had it. Oh, you're virgin. Fair enough. Nah, I've had it. <laughs> Bad sex? Yeah. Who? I can't say. You can. This is a podcast. Yo, we're we back to episode things. one, hey, where we just say whatever we feel like. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not going to say it because you <laughs> will fucking keep it in. <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's okay, no, no, this is unfair. <laughs> Let's see. Say Just do math. Yes, we, are, we suck as a podcast. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm even confused by this. You know what's hilarious is when we get to the vibe checks, you guys are going to laugh at how like I prepped this episode to go in a completely different direction. Oh <laughs> <laughs> vibe check on seeing the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> seeing the Lord. Don't you blame yourself for that being bad sex? Are talking about my first time? Oh, is that what you were talking? No, no, I'm just wondering. Mm-mm. Oh, man. Most recent time. <laughs> Second most recent. You fuck a lot, hey? This surely can't stay in. No, you can. Because they don't know who's second most recent. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No one knows how much. (laughs) 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 I don't want to talk about who you had sex with. Yes, boy. It's that all important time of the show where we get into our vibe chicks. Dylan, he's caught off guard. Tell us what a vibe check is. A vibe check is when Lebo realistically gives us something to think about. <laughs> and basically, without thinking, we say good or bad vibes. Um, or anything in between. Middle, shit, ugly, nice, disgusting. Go ahead, Lips. That was fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Really? You should try that next time. You, it's because you're watching from the sidelines all the time. You know? You can take notes. and Coaches <laughs> don't play. I'm sitting there like, yeah, okay, no, don't do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for Lips to ask me so I can try, baby. I'm getting on the couch this season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm summoned in. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Bend down, boss, <laughs> fast guy. So the first vibe check isn't really a vibe check. It's kind of a would you rather, but vibe check on indoor raves versus outdoor fezzies good vibes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks for coming <laughs> I, 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 lo- I love your answer li- <laughs> 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 dead <laughs> dead <laughs> you know how many vibes they call the teacher mom and dad <laughs> just call your friend dead <laughs> <laughs> um, which one outdoor fezzies or indoor raves which one do you prefer? Okay, so we also talking about the difference between a festival and a rave. Give me a rundown. What's the difference between a festival and a rave? Before I answer this. Yeah, the, you, you're doing season one work, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you asking for them, not for you. Yeah. Um, an indoor rave is when you go inside and then you draw from like 10 in the evening to 4 in the morning. And an outdoor fezzy is kind of like, oh, we arrive at 3. We have a great day. Leave at like, hopefully 1. But it will close at 11. Yeah. The power will shut off. It's two hours of you leaving. They didn't get enough dragon anyways. (laughs) Realistically, I feel like I'm more stimulated at outdoor festivals. 
as a whole. Because of the because of the the nyash. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can I didn't see, say visually you can stimulate. see the gel, <laughs> yeah. uh, Dave. Nah, Sal? I think, yeah, I think it's you just think the vibe. Um, I think there's a lot to unpack with that, Dylan. You can finish yours because <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. So I mean, the thought process is the outside festivals allow for you to have more like bands, like go on more side quests and oh things. Yeah, fair. So it's like if you're going there for yeah. like a bit of like bands, a bit of last, bit of memories. Yeah. Mm. Definitely not. Like think about yeah. this: you can remember every single outside festival you've been to. Exactly. You can't remember most of the raves you've gone to. One hundred percent. That's deep. Yeah, that's deep. And it's true. because you made the friends you made along the way. You're not making friends at a rave. We you're fucking trying to make rave. sure. You're trying to make sure that no one with MDs leaves. Yeah. You know what I like about outdoor festivals though? And the difference for me as well. When you're indoor, you're not talking to people already. You're listening to music. Mm. Like it is very much the music vibe. But when you're outdoor, there's a little bit of everything. You enjoy the music. You're with someone. You're mm. like talking a little bit. And no one's like, shut up. We're listening to the music. Yeah, it's not you're like you're shouting. You know what I mean? Still try to get drinks for one and a half hours where you make some of the best bands. Because See, even actually, so yeah. long to get to y'all. It takes forever, but it's nice because you like you like standing there. It's outdoors. It doesn't feel like you're waiting in like a club or like a bar yeah, yeah, yeah. behind mm. people. I just like there's there's it just feels like more possibilities if that makes sense because it's normally mm. like bigger festivals are outdoors mm. and like raves like four six hundred four hundred people, you know what I mean? So it's like there's more chance of you. I don't know what. What do you do at outside festivals? I've never been to one. More chance of you making a friend group for six months. We did that once. We did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're still friends with someone. Do you all, know what I mean? All of them. But would that have happened at a night at Tree? So, funny I enough. I think it could, but yeah. like the, the, the... Could how? We've been going to Tree since 20 fuck off. When did it happen? <laughs> but if you think about it, that, that friend group that we made at the outdoor festival, they also became friends at Berg and the Berg. They didn't become friends. They just became familiar. That's debatable. Well, maybe they did become friends. I don't like speaking in other people's situations. But yeah, I feel like for me, there's something about an outdoor fezzy. It, it, it comes to like everything about it. Because if you think about it, Joburg is very like nighttime oriented. <laughs> Sorry. You, what you just said made no sense. You said, you said ultimately it comes down to everything <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's like you're about to spit knowledge. You're about to tell us the specifics, but then you say, <laughs> "You realize that you realize that you had to, you had to, you had to yet." <laughs> he, he's cooking right now. Just said, "You say like ultimately it's, it's everyone gets to talk." <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I just everyone when you get, said it, my brain was going to make no sense. It was like you were talking you to talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> You were talking to t- <laughs> That's rude I really wanted to understand what you meant. You know, realistically, Dill, let me just tell you something. Outdoor festivals, bro, it really just comes down to everything, everything about it <laughs> That's, that, that makes you really want to. Okay, anyways, what, what murders me, not kills, <laughs> murders me, is that I really did have a point. And I had to get to where I was so that if you had shut up... <laughs> Then shut up for two extra minutes. You would have known where I was going. But it was, it was that cheeky smile and grin that stupefied me into silence to allow you to disrespect me. Great day. I'm so sorry. Great chat. Do you remember what you were saying? Obviously. Okay. I meant that in terms of outdoor phases. It starts at the beginning of your day and it builds up, builds up, builds up and then it gets sick. Whereas when you go out in the nighttime because Joburg is so nighttime based, it's like you only start thinking about going out at like six, seven, eight o'clock. Whereas with a Fezzi, it's literally your whole day. That's a fantastic point. Is it? (laughs) (laughs) No, I fully agree. Like, No, no, let me just say what you say. We're going to fight him. (laughs) Day festivals are realistically during the day and then... Nighttime. Oh, don't do that to clubs. him. Yeah, and at night, carry on. Night. Yeah, don't do that, that was your and point. then what? That was your point. My point, no. You were listening. <laughs> you were listening. <laughs> you said- My point is saying that, like, 
when you have, let me explain to you how a daytime busy works. You fucking wake up. Yeah. If you don't have an outfit, you go buy one. Everyone's on the line. What time uh, are we meeting? Pre starts early. Everybody catches vibes, does all the things. Then you go to your fezzy. Whereas with nighttime plans, I'll show up at your gate. You'll get in my car and we'll buy. And it's what shit vibes. <laughs> Nah, that's so true, actually. I, I, I backed that. <laughs> I'm so glad we could make it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate myself, too. Uh, next vibe check of the evening. Because uh, clearly we all agree that daytime fizzies are better than nighttime raves. Even though, if you're talking daytime fizzies and DNB, then you're talking open air. Anyways, and I don't know. Drummer Bay should never be let out. <laughs> Keep like, it inside. Yeah, it's like genie in a bottle. That's the. You line. don't think DNB rave opening would be nice? I, I want to go to the one next week, so then we'll decide after that. Which one? Bay Safari. Bay Safari. Oh, oh yeah. that would be. It's gonna be. Who's like, running that one? Uh, I think it's Tarantino. Yeah. Oh. Shout out Tarantino every time. Sick. Um, come on the podcast. Anyways. Oh um, yeah, sorry. No, I was just gonna talk about open air, but let's, just, let's go to one and then we'll talk about it. Sure. Even though it does seem like witchcraft, eh? It just doesn't seem like the base is going to be there. Davey, we know how much you love to speak. Same effect. So this vibe check is directed towards you because we're coming up to that all-important time of year again. It's fucking major. It's fucking beautiful. I'm so happy for it. So David, felt a fucking warm vibe check on Summer Romance 2018. No, that's yeah, some good stuff. I mean, it was highly unsuccessful like when you did it in 2018. Yeah. I just got heartbroken. Heartbroken himself, some would say. Um, but, nah, the vibes are ready here. Yeah. This, this oh, temperature change that happened this week. I don't know anyone in Cape Town or Durban, you guys m- won't feel this way. You're probably still stuck in winter. Yeah, you're probably still cold but as shit. here in Joburg, living. we've been living quite a nice life. Look at us, we're I went in fucking and I slept fully nude last night. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, He's not. I'm, no, I don't do that. I, 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 I get too about. anxious. <laughs> what is it like a crook gum? <laughs> Just a lot. Because the crook is there to thumb it in. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, no, this the time change, it's been beautiful. It's just been feeling like summer. Like everyone's like out more, it feels. I, I love that feeling. Mm. Like, you know the feeling mm. when everyone's on holiday? And like everyone's just busy on like a fucking Wednesday, and it's like, mm. what are you doing out? I actually don't care. I'm so happy here. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Ugh. But I feel like it's like l- fucking cocaine. You want to do what? No, 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 I don't do that stuff. What? Dylan, do you remember your 2018 summer? No. Because I was I in 2018. Were you coughed? You were third, yeah. Third, second. Yeah, I was already. Did you have a lot of romance? I was in Cape Town. Oh. 2018. Bro, yeah. you, you can't... When did I get cuffed? You didn't live here for that long. Or live there for that long. Yeah, dude, it wasn't that you long. You lived there for three years. You, lived, you moved at the end of 2019, <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, because he was there for 2020. And then he came back 2021. Yeah. When did I... When did I... You <laughs> finished, when you did you... Oh, matric- third year. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, what that's what I said. You even I'm said you were in third year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what I was doing for summer in 2018. Hate to. Fucking, dude, can I tell you, my, my three years of studying, <laughs> gone. It's like, don't That's remember a single thing. I remember coming home. I remember being so anxious. It was just one of the ang- most anxious fucking times of my life. And I was like playing games. That was it. That was what I was doing with my time. We were doing the same, except we were playing games on the phone in the DMs. We were driving to Pretoria every fucking Thursday. Yes, us. That was, yeah, that was another. It was another time. Oh. No, I mean, just like the thought process, like we would, we would literally, yes, it was an old. Should, do you want to tell them what it was first? Because no one knows what Summer Romance I don't even know what it you, is. You started off because. I, I've I, heard you, it before, for obvious it. reasons. Because you were around <laughs> and we no, never no, shut, shut up. Shut up. We never made that mistake last time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I would like to know. Anyways. Summer 18, yeah, a peak time in our lives. I had to fucking go into my Instagram to check whether or not I was actually single for the whole of it. I had just become single. Davey had just recently become single. July. In July. I had recently become single in January. Ah, oh, so this is where it started. This, this is the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> I just got the joke. 
What? It was January of like the start of the other January of the next year. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like you say, you're like cheating. <laughs> I I did summer romance so well that I lost my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> so no. this was the start of your guys' friendship, yeah, realistically. Yeah. Like, this is the start of inseparable David and Lebo. If we, I mean, the thing is with was it specifically summer? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. as as a peak there, but we had always been tight, and then mm. it's a weird thing because we had made jokes for long, like the fact that we used to be on like video calls together. Yeah. With that the fact that we. Lebs and I once walked from school to a sandwich shop <laughs> to get sandwich. like <laughs> a sandwich with <laughs> with Vienna on it. But it was like the most powdery sandwich. Of course. <laughs> like, we shared half a sandwich. We really did. did. <laughs> oh I know she said I have no money. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I got you. We got like half a. I like, each had half a sandwich. Yeah, then we walked back to school, sat on the stands, ate the sandwich. I made the worst Valentine's Day plans of my life that day. I remember it was that day that everything went to shit. But then fast forward to 2018, I don't even know what was the first time. I think the first time we inside was actually when we went to Chicago's. Which one? The one after Parker's? Yeah. That night we went. Yes. Were you there that night? No, I think that was the night I wasn't there. I was just thinking about this. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> That was the one night. <laughs> yeah, I was no, 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 sorry, I just remember all the times because Lebo's always had horrible experiences there. And I don't think I've ever been to Chicago when Lebo's been there. Mm. So this is, yeah, we went to That's Parkhurst fair. with Sky, Tan, Greg, me, Lebs. I think Pog pa- wasn't there. I don't know who was there, man. I don't even know why we were there. And then we were like... How the fuck are you in Parkhurst and you say, let's go to Chicago? <laughs> no, because they were done. Yo, they were so angry at that Parkhurst place. I was loving it because we had an Abbey. Which place? He loves that. Sure, it's so, I, I feel bad for even saying, but Jolly's. Oh, yeah. Jolly's. That place, I need to, we need to speak to whoever the fuck runs it and be like, what happened? Dude, I was there is on it a, dead now, eh? I was there on Sunday, or on that street. From Jolly's, it is dead. Like, there's no cars parking outside Jolly's. The people aren't even inside. There were like five people on a Sunday when football's playing inside Jolly's. Okay. You get past Jolly's, okay. like past Nikos. Nik- Nikos? Um... Nick Kolonaki. Kolonaki. Full strip. Every single place packed to the brim with people. Yeah, like a so, stress, so all of them are not Exactly. Bad. So what the fuck happened to Jolly is that it's like no one even tries to go there anymore. I think can I be honest? And <laughs> I don't know if this is true. This is my speculation. I love I, it. and it's not that deep. But I mean, do you not think with inflation they used to be cheap as fuck? Considering where they are okay. with all the other places. Yeah. It was like the cheap place to go for all those people. Think like mm. Linden, all those people. Mm. Like that was a fucking nice place to go and have like a bar, loud m- music type of place to mm. go. And now there's so many other places, bro. And people travel nowadays, bro. Yeah, fair. People aren't scared to travel with That's Uber as well. Mm. Actually, because I mean, <coughs> if you think about like when we were there, it's like Parkhurst was far. Like Parkhurst, yeah, like dude. even though we went there often, we were always like, is there not something closer? And it's exactly. like, we got yeah. to a lot of points where we'd be like, no, man, like something must be closer. But then we'd always end up there. Yeah. This thing has like lost its fear. Like if you think about it, they've done nothing to stay trending. Like they've mm. done, they're literally like, we're a bar, we do student nights and yes, a jam jar. Yeah. And the way that different things have been opening up on that strip, I could see how that could be. Like Marley's has sand on the floor. <laughs> what is? Marley's. <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't remember Tap House? Next to Jolly's. The one way if you go yes, through the bathroom, yeah, yeah. it's Marley's now. And like oh, Davey said. Yeah. There's sand on the floor. <laughs> but it's meant to be. It's not like it's by mistake. It's oh, it's vibe. Yeah. Like, oh, that's going to be the worst feeling. Oh, I hate that. Hey, yeah. Even if, when it, but only when it's like a little bit. Like if it's full sand, okay. But I mean, and it's just like skull. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're walking on the road. And then it's like, like you might as well put gum on the floor. It's the same thing. Ew. <laughs> But um, they are back to the story. So we went from Jolly's to Chicago's. Yeah. Hated every second of it. Yeah. Did Greg was mad at me for some reason. I but can't I, remember why. <laughs> I, think, I think it was like, oh yeah, I wasn't keen to do something. I, so Greg wasn't, in, I remember this. Greg wasn't enjoying Parkhurst either. Yeah. And I was mad that we left that. Oh yeah, yes you were. And then he was he was pissed off at me. 
But I was also pissed off. I was just pissed. Yeah. (laughs) I was just pissed. I said, I don't want to go to Chicago. Said, Where am I? Bayers, no dear. Bayers. Why am I on Bayers? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I driving myself there? That's what I always figure out, try to figure out when I'm like, I don't want to go somewhere, but I'm literally driving there. I'm taking these people there. I don't want to go. It should have been, find your own way. I'm going to stay here and yeah. hit on this beautiful, beautiful princess. I believe. Was it that person? No, it wasn't that. <clears> that was a different act. Yeah, Davey so, has rinsed me in my time. Carry on. So this is so it's summer twenty eighteen. <laughs> yeah. And that starts realistically when? For us the summer was extended. This like when like July. Yeah, like July is when it started ish. What did you do for your birthday that year? Do you remember? It wasn't a party. Those stopped early on. Yes, one day we must get Greg on the pod. We all just chill and we just fucking debrief about those parties. Yo, Everybody, everything that yeah. happened. Dude, everything that happened. Fuck sakes. Let everyone know. I don't even when, know. when, how old were we in 2018? 2020. No? 21. We were 21. Where were we 21? Yeah, because 18 oh, we and 2015. So then wasn't, 19, that, guess wasn't what? that one where Greg was going to have his 21st, but his standalone yeah. and then he cancelled? But then we went, so, we, so for your birthday, we went PTA. Yes, that was the, the yes. I remember that. Cause that's yeah. What, yeah. yeah. And it was before we went PTA. Like, because that started... I think the, that was our second time. Yeah, there, it was yeah. probably like our second time ever drawing in Pretoria. Yeah, I was wearing yeah. like a fucking college shirt. Dude, like, big bleh. college shirt. I actually saw memories from that like the other day. Was, like, no. I was stalking my archives today and I was like, damn. Hectic. Yeah. Those are some good times. Yeah, okay, good times. so that's what's happening, right? Because so, I remember if I reflect back to even that day, like you guys, obviously we were all friends, right? So like everyone has close relationships in a fucking big friend group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was... It was after that, because <laughs> I've said this to you guys before. I went to Cape Town. I came back, and you guys were like, <laughs> "I was looking at you like, what the fuck?" <laughs> what I, when I left, <laughs> why do you guys know each other's nipples? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a random thing. That man. was twenty twenty that fucked us up. Yeah, uh, twenty twenty well, is why we got inside of each other. <laughs> <laughs> so I why is twenty eighteen? Everyone wants to know. What, I figured what it out. We stayed up on my birthday again. In 2018? Yeah. Remember, that was that was the one we made Pav and Chelsea as well do. Oh, oh yeah. So we, did that that, we had done it once before. We did it for New Year's. But, like, you know, that was... We didn't need to be friends to both acknowledge that that was one of the greatest nights of our life. That's like, very true. No one was a part of that. That was 2016, 2017. Must have been 2017. Because I don't think I was allowed out like that in 2016. Yeah, 2017. So we did it for my birthday. We were like, yeah. And I think every time that we stayed up, I could cry. Like we stayed <laughs> up into the morning. It just drew us closer and closer until Dude. you were literally telling me to drive you over with your car. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Yo, yeah. dude, time is so crazy. And that was literally the first episode you guys yeah. spoke about that shit. Yeah. You're wild. You're full, full circle, circle, man. Oh, is this the two fucking anniversary? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful moment that no one will get to see. <laughs> um, and you know, yeah. I remember that sunrise so vividly, man. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, but now I'm confused. Why is 2018? What's the summer romance thing? So we started. Get to the we point. Started, yeah. We started gymming <laughs> yeah. together. Okay. Planet Fitness every yeah. night. Nothing's yeah. connecting it. No, Carry no, on. calm down, calm down. Yeah, you're So we Still went. Still not summer. There's no romance involved. It is 2018 though. So, so then we said we were like, this is it. Like we're just gonna like talk to people, talk to people. Like we were like, we're going to gym. We're looking good. We're looking jacked. Yeah. Was that was Social this the butterflies. period where you guys were doing like a prosthetics type gymming together? Yeah. In that fucking outside little square that's thing. That's the so one. Then, uh-huh. And then uh-huh. that's where we were like, we should start a brand. Yeah. The aesthetics. That's why the email address. <laughs> <laughs> and then guess what? That whole thing <laughs> was yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not so two years because like, we were literally there, little giddy kids. Like, what should we make it? I'm the romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, good fuck, yeah, that's a joke, man. Fuck. Yeah, and then we the romance part of it all was yeah. that 
it's one of those things we we got to like the summer coming up and it was like there's too many possibilities because we'd been driving everywhere we've been doing everything like every day because i think as well when i turned that age 21 but that's when my parents became more lenient with me so i could drive during the week and go wherever i wanted so we were just doing whatever the fuck we wanted i was going to gym we were going pta we were going monty to pta we were going parkers anyway the fuck we felt like as long as you like let them know like you have free reign as well bro it was messy it's like mm. now <laughs> but, but i mean with reckless abandon of a 21 year old like we went the one time <laughs> That jo- no, Jolly Summers. We, but we used to go to like Monty, then either go to Pretoria or go to the Jolly's at like two in the morning. And we've oh. made some of like some very close friends from Messing that. around. I caught Lamza in Pretoria. I had to come back to get it, but you know, the seeds were sown in Pretoria. Even Davey was going to catch Lamza in Pretoria. Lentadach. <gasps> Messi. Lentadach also was an iconic point in summer romance. F. Terrible for us. Horrible day. I will never go back. Why? It's just a shit fizzy. Oh, friend. Oh, really? But <laughs> take that out as well. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think the romance part was us just living living life. Yeah. Like oh, we living literally life. we were just like enjoying everything. Like we took every opportunity we could, and I think that's why we will put ourselves through hell a lot of the times. Yeah, I think people are always like, Davy and Lebs commit too much, but I think it comes from a place of like, we never used to be those guys. And then we were like, what What if we just did? Mm. What if we just commit? What if we just do whatever the fuck we felt like? How would life look? Mm. And it's been fucking beautiful. So I think it's, it it, yeah, true, you're right. I think you're right. It's deeper than just, oh, we're just willing to do whatever. It's like, no, you're just taking life for what it is, taking the opportunities that come to you. Yeah. Going and finding them. Really? I feel like you guys have done that. Eh? Like even because the contrast of where, like, your personalities in high school and who we were as like a friend group compared to, you know, the people that were mm. around us or whatever. Like we were very in-house type of, you know, house party vibe yeah, type yeah, of people yeah. where we wouldn't really like, like if you look at the people that were around us, they were always going to like house parties with other schools and like fucking, they were going to clubs already and shit. Yeah. And we were there like, we were like to ourselves, we had a nice tight knit. Yeah. It's like whose house are we going to type shit? Yeah. Concern. Yeah. <laughs> Every week. It was like every week that was a situation. Yeah. It's like... But I fucking love that, eh? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, I love that. Bro. I, I've been... I, it's such a weird thing. I've been itching to do that again. It's just... I don't know what happens, but when you get to it, you need to do a lot these days to keep the vibes up because the vibes are so fragile. It's <laughs> like if you go there and like some, like you play a bad song, you can by mistake put someone to sleep. Yeah, in the And like night. it's done yeah. for. Fuck <laughs> We're just old, bro. When you're young, yeah. I feel like anything is humorous. Anything can, like, stimulate That's you. what I'm saying. I mean, if you when think about old, those times when we go to Ali's house, we would literally chill from, like, eight at night to, like, four in the morning. Just smoking. Like, hubbly. Like, doing that. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just four call. Like, we wouldn't move. I feel like we even being ma- lenient with eight, bro. Sometimes we were there after school. Yeah. On, like, a Friday. Jesus. We would maybe play pool. And, it's like, that. So, you play pool. For like eight hours, and it's still like a way, buddy. Like, <laughs> people it's were cool. running <laughs> from something <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> from finals. That's what niggas were running from. No, I mean, literally, last week, 10 o'clock came. Joshua Dawes over <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Dawes. Yeah. Fucking hell. Um, Maybe it was also because you guys drank more. Huh? You drank more. I'd never do that to you, Davey. I know you drink so much more <laughs> now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Anyways, yeah. So the romance was falling in love with life. Oh, I love that. Other. I love that. And it's going to happen again. It's nearly summer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm the way feeling the way way so <laughs> like, uh, well, <laughs> I'll talk about it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, just going back to what you were saying as well, like the fact that we were doing house parties all the time. It's like now we literally run a podcast, which main features interviewing DJs of yeah. nightlife. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've gone so far tilt and everything. Bro, I just did a 180 and never look back. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm excited for this, this summer because I think it's going to be devastating. Yeah. 
It's gonna be a bit hectic. We one, don't have one any of the big ones. Huh? One of the big ones. I'm um, like summers. I'm as in so man. There's a lot of heavy shit on the way. Just I think if we're talking like headline shit, it's Alderbrook coming. The baby's coming. Not that I'm gonna go to the baby, but the baby's coming in September. The kind music, Ramper, and me. And then okay. don't forget, hey neighbor, which is just Kendrick Lamar, Trains Workers, yeah. Khalid. Can't forget about it. It's like now. if you're just looking at headliners, we have nine headliners coming. Coven. Fucking Coven. That's ten. Fucking hell. Yeah, ten, that's wild. Ten in, in three months. And that's not even counting like just all the good fucking jaws in between. Yeah, then you've got yeah. like festivals like it's personal and all that. You got KD Sundays back. Oh go on. When does that start? 24th of September, baby. Yo, it's actually much sooner than fucking think, eh? Summer's Some, yeah. Summer Shit. starts Summer starts at the end of August. When yeah. people are like, oh, it's like spring. Fuck off. This <laughs> <laughs> is yeah, summer. Yeah, two seasons, baby. Yeah. Halloween and summer. <laughs> 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 Halloween is in summer. <laughs> Halloween and winter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary outside, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I want to make a sick. vow. I know I won't do it, but I'll, I want to do a sick Halloween party. I'm keen. Let's do it. All do out. Want, do you want to throw the party or go to one? I want to. I want to go to one. I don't want to throw one, but I feel like I would need to throw one. But I feel like my house can't do that. I feel like yeah. We'll find a house. We'll find a house. Let's what are your parents doing on Halloween? Let's kick them out, like the old days. Could do my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they was like, <laughs> wait, no, wait, it's my mom. wait. Wait, what day is Halloween on? I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Mine's thirteenth <laughs> of October. Wow. No, not the day. Am I wrong? Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know the date this whole time? Bro, you let me like. What? <laughs> Did you guys genuinely not know? It? No, he was fucking with me. But I went and I stopped and I was like, I don't think it's the thirteenth, my boy. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot, but uh, 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 there's a lot later in October. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know, um, it's the it's a Tuesday this year. Okay, so oh, yeah. we'll figure out if yeah. it happens before or after. Well, you know, always there'll definitely be a truth Halloween. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. It's like New Year's. Yeah, it's same, same. Uh, it, we have to start planning New Year's this fucking second, lads. I must be yeah. honest. I just We've got wasted two, two places much. for New Year's. Or any of them And I can't commit It's one of those New Year's for me I get offered plans All the time I'm sure you guys do as well Here's a party Here's a party Here's a party And it just keeps going like this The more time goes Closer And then you can't commit To anything And then eventually When it comes You're fucking alone It's very true That's what happened That's what happened to me And Nibs Yeah Like if we talk about last year Yeah we've spoken about Last year's New Year's That's not, not worth speaking not about again But yeah But yeah so But also I mean I think Um Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we might be fine. Okay, we we might have something. We might be fine. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Speaking of holidays, planning, and bullshit, I'm in the mood for manifesting today, guys. Must be honest. Okay. So, we'll manifest now your dream lads holiday. We're talking location. We're talking the squad you're taking with. We're talking. We're talking, what do you want to be doing every fucking day? What's the vibe? That's summer. You were looking at the phone to make sure that I wrote it down. Yeah, I could <laughs> yes, that sounded like someone was phoning someone. Oh. It sounded like I could hear someone. Yeah. Dream lads holiday. Even though it's, I feel like we're running out of time on this potty. So we'll all make one dream lads holiday and we'll try and make it work. Okay. This vibe's brainstorming, ladies and gents. So I've, I, mine's going to be the option that's no one's going to pick kind of thing because I know that you guys are going for like clubs and Mykonos. So what I'm going to say... Okay, so Davey gets place. No, no, oh. oh is We're that do, building it together now because there's not that much time left of this episode. How much time are we out of here? <clears throat> I don't know. How much time is it? Well, we started an hour ago. <laughs> how does that work? Um, okay. America. The whole of America. <laughs> so I, so my, Let's my, make it a little my, bit more realistic. My, my, dream, my dream lads holiday would be like a massive fucking lake and like a fucking big eight bedroom wooden house that may or may not be a bit haunted. And it may not be someone who wants to kill us. And then we have to kind of take them out. And it's such a bonding experience. 
<laughs> you want to like live an American pie holiday. You want to get a keg. That's that's your vibe. Last holiday. <laughs> It's just like four gents. <laughs> I said eight, I said eight bedroom. We can fit sixteen if we're close. No, those are for women. <laughs> it's just us and women. Oh goodness! You didn't mention one girl. I think he genuinely <laughs> wanted us to all bond. The only reason girls would be there to be murdered by the haunted house, so that we can. Oh, still, I'm so sorry that you got us. Is she okay? <laughs> As Dave, I said, she didn't make it. Davey hired someone to haunt the house. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. all go back and fucking everyone's dead except for us. And Davey's like, man, that was such a scary hunt. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. What has happened? <laughs> yeah. It seems like all of our close acquaintances have been murdered. <laughs> It is now up to us, the five best friends, to figure out what has happened to these really not important, these really not so important people in our lives. Boy, oh boy, I am sure glad of all the people in the world, it is you four and me, together, forever. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that we would find ourselves in such a precarious situation? <laughs> Fucking holiday. <laughs> no, because of that, you're allowed to take your whole holiday. It's no longer joints because I don't want to be a part of whatever that is. <laughs> we need a book. <laughs> no, I feel like. Let's go like realistic. I feel like San Amir was a fucking awesome holiday. No, I'll, yeah, like, yeah. I'll do a tenfold, my boy. Yeah. Like, I want a beach vibe. <laughs> okay, lake <Tenfold>. boy. <laughs> a Is big lake, like an ocean. That's <laughs> 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 like a kettle finish boy. <laughs> fucking hell, though. <laughs> That's one of the funniest shit you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want a beach vibe like we had at San Lemire. We went to San Lemire once and it was fucking awesome. But Episode I want that 15. type of vibe. Hey? Episode 15. So how do you know that? Clearly I learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want that vibe. Beach vibes and then it's just us gents and we have a fucking beach party and we're getting drunk on the beach and shit. But like, I would want it to be like somewhere where we could fucking explore as well and do cool shit. Like, Go karting and that dancing. type of thing. Mm. That would be fucking sick. So like Thailand, somewhere it's cheap, mm. cheap booze, be cheap activities, so. yeah. cheap. cheap. That's my vibe. What's your vibe? I my vibe. Bali. Um, I personally don't like exploration or spending time with loved ones. So we're going to where Europe. Where in Europe? Like Germany or something? I don't know. Germany. My dream lad holiday. Is us going to just fucking party? We're gonna see every international act we've ever wanted to see in our entire lives. That would be fucking. My dream land holiday is starting at Tomorrowland and then fucking up Europe until we have to come home. That would be fucking sick. That would be absolutely beautiful because it's just like what vibe are you on? Anything. (laughs) So land holiday. Have you seen? Done with it. That's what I'm saying. Have you seen the fucking five of us? Six of us? It's, there's only ever five of us here at a time. But <laughs> five, five of us fucking on any random lads not out. Even just the four of us. Even the three of us as well. Even the three of us. It's always fucking debor- not debaucherous. Devices have been left. Anything can happen. Yeah. Now you're saying that every single artist you've ever wanted to see, electronic music, is in <laughs> one place. Yeah, bro. That'd be fucking amazing. That'd be fucking magical, dude. That'd be fucking crazy. I don't crazy. think we'd be ready. But I don't think what could prepare you for it. What do you want to do a mini holiday? Zanti, huh? Zanti, bro. No, Zanti. Where's that in Germany? Zanti's in Greece. Oh, Zantorini. Mhm. Uh. Zanti, Rini, <laughs> Zantorini. No, because like if we, especially like Germany, it's that thing of like you get your. I just said Germany pass. because uh, they, they, they have like. Stress, we're just sweeping. They invented techno like, music. Nah, nah. They invented techno in Germany. Was I love the love the vibes podcast? 
Yeah, you know, they, does that person still watch our potty? I haven't looked at our stats for a while, but there was always someone from Germany who every single week, no matter what, would download the pod. So <laughs> fucking 82 you know, episodes you, t- later. Yeah. Thank you. We love Guten you. Tag, if you have a house, reach out to us, oh, buddy. Man. Yeah, if you have a house, let us stay in it. And then we'll come visit Germany with you. And then oh, go to Tomorrowland. That'd be such a cool... Have yeah, you ever yeah, priced so. Tomorrowland? Like yeah, We had someone expensive. here with expert information on the price. Editing that reel, I clocked, he told us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he told us nothing. Like, if you had to price it, how much do you think you'd end up spending? Over really? 90. The, t- the ticket, if you get everything for yeah, three days, I think it looks up to around that. 40k. Just for the ticket. That's pretty cheap, actually. Just for the ticket to tomorrow, then, then add around maybe 16 to 20 for your ticket there. Yeah, to fly. Oh, flights. Yeah. yeah. And then so wait, 40 grand, including accommodation the whole time? No, no, no. Oh. That's just three days at Tomorrowland. Oh, fuck me. I That's thought that accommodation. Everything. No. I no. thought that was accommodation. Then, you, then your accommodation, I don't know. I've got no fucking idea about the housing market there. Yeah, fuck. But I think it would be a, over 150. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think yeah. 100, 150 would just like, clear your spending money, which would be nice. Like, yeah. you'd probably go see a few things. Like, but I mean, like, a, like a, I mean, if you think about it, a holiday just to Europe for us, that's, that's already upwards of 60. And then you add a fucking three-day festival, not just not just a random <laughs> three-day yeah. festival. Not just like a Reading fest, Leeds fest. No. no. Tomorrow, land. Today, fly. <laughs> Today, fly. Tomorrow, land. land. <laughs> uh, Davies' phone's blowing up. Summer romance is heavy, baby. That so what's lovely. what's the what's the summer looking like? Like, what are you most excited for? I'm gonna move for to this Port Elizabeth in East London. Why? This yes. Is, so much I, don't know, I don't know what Lebs does with these reels, but I swear he puts target markets or something. I think I just podcast. I think they just like our podcast. Eh? I get followers from moms and people from Port Elizabeth in East and East London. And Cape Town. The people from Portable Portable, Portable Elizabeth, Elizabeth. All of those. All of them. They're all bored. They're looking in from the outside. Because I'm saying, come, Going, like, I want to come here and draw. Hey, no, no, fly one, me out. no one, yeah. no one ever said, I want to go on holiday to PE. <laughs> hey, I know imagine, a few. huh? I know a few people said that. But people that's because they're from there. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just shouldn't get back home. You know? <laughs> but, but then, conversely, imagine you say, I want to go to Joburg for holiday. For holiday. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking sad. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking. What weird, do you guys man. have there? Smog. <laughs> And not the dragon. <laughs> it's pollution. <laughs> Smog. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Love it. So what are you most excited for during the summer? I'm going right now, I, can, I can't see past Coven. Which I is in two weeks. Coven's in <gasps> two weeks, yeah. Three weeks, I think. What, smashing. I just thudded my hand trying to say that I'm going to run... It's such an aggressive movement. <laughs> and I know he fucks, but like... I'm going to get a mirror, baby. Thumb it in, baby. Thumb it in, baby. <laughs> we stay thumb it. Who was the wrestler who used to smack you in the neck with their thumb? Umaga. Yeah. That was oh, his finisher. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, bang! Thumb it in, baby. Remember when Umaga made all the bugs on people? I was like, how did he do that? Wasn't that the boogeyman? Ah, the bugs, yeah, that was the boogeyman. The boogeyman. But he had all that shit come out of his mouth. Ugh! <laughs> He was so talented. Miss WWE. I miss it. Let's be honest. No. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the episode, I was going to say that. <laughs> no. We don't have to be honest. Yo, Dole, let's go reminiscing next week, man. Alrighty. One last segment Fucking until the end of the episode. We've back. done great planning. Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite segment. We're back with Catch the Vob, of which there are two. If you don't know how Catch the Vibe works, essentially, I'll say a sentence. Dylan Davey will finish that sentence. That's it. That's the whole concept. So they're going to catch the vibe. Ooh, one, one. One, one. Yeah, Davey. Look, look, look at my eyes. When or see. Dylan. No one knows he's going first. This summer, I won one thing and one thing only. And that is Dylan. Dick. <laughs> Because you're looking in my eyes too much. <laughs> you threw me off, Dave. Wait, I want to read you. I want to read you. Pussy. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> I hated this podcast. Fuck you. 
<laughs> Shit, man. That's hilarious. Well, well, can't guess go that's back it. There. And last one, Davey. After last summer, I regret one thing and one thing alone. And that is that I didn't... Get hard. <laughs> Get hard. Sh- shame, bro. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Not once. This is hectic. Because... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mars Podcast. <laughs> the oh, no, dirtiest a... podcast um, in the world. <laughs> you can't have another one. Dylan didn't get one. Yeah, yeah. Dill, let's end it off with what you are looking forward most to this summer. Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm genuinely looking forward to like, I don't know why, but KT's man, I'm excited for that. Mm. I'm excited for a Sunday chillers, bro. Yeah. Like a Sunday pool vibe. At uh, Katie's Palace? At <laughs> Katie's Palace. <laughs> Get a pool. On the third floor. <laughs> 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 no, on but top I'm just, of all the expensive art. <laughs> I'm just keen for pools. Like uh, swimming again, Away. having a fucking Sunday braai. You want meat on the braai? Yeah. Oh, braaiing every. We're going to make, we're going to find someone's house. We're going to make that the communal braai house. Like we yes. said, every Love fucking it. Sunday is a braai day. You mm. don't have to ask. Yeah. Love it. It's happening. You guys get a house. I like it. I went to the shops the other day. Ooh. And That's all right. when someone it's a limerick. tapped me on the shoulder, I turned around and said, Lebo. If you tap me again, I'm going to have to knock those eggs out of your hand. Put them on top of your head. And kiss you all over, you beautiful bitch. Dylan, come here. <laughs> Thank you, man. I remember when that happened. Yeah, just a meme. Why did I get my reason? <laughs> what? <laughs> just in a random shop. <laughs> I got some easy. <laughs> Fuck sex. Oh, God. Davey Self, looking forward to in summer? Um, possibilities, eh? It's going to be, gonna be a, it's going to be a goodie. It's going to be beautiful. Get tanned. What's it? Gym tan laundry. That's the fucking motto for this year. Gym tan laundry. I don't know how to do laundry. Laundry so will thrift. Gym, gym we'll and tan. Thrift. Yeah, gym tan tea. Go thrift clothes. Gym GTT. tan thrift. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. This time, actually, I'm lying. Oh. This summer is gonna be a denim sana. Den, denim. Denim. None of the words. A what a word. Demon sana. A demon, demon sana, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm, baby. I'm gonna fucking go to bed in denim pajamas. <laughs> that sounds so uncomfortable. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Yo, you have this nice thing you sleep in your jeans. The worst. Oh, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Man. Thank you so much for coming back to Vice Podcast, everybody. I've been your <laughs> beautiful boy, Davy D. <laughs> Sometimes you delicious. Do that. You just had to. Don't uh, wants to do that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just interested. In what? Girls, of course. Not dog. Going back to my previous <laughs> statement, I'm not <laughs> looking for dick. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Dev. Sorry. No, no, if you want yeah. to, you can. I don't mind. Everybody outro themselves. I've been Dylan. I've been Diddlin. I've been Diglin. And together we are the three Diglets. Sure. You better watch out. Because we better might not just cry. Might just dig our way into yes, <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so. laughs> you have heard of thumbing it in. <laughs> Imagine three. We're gonna need a lot of thumbs. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need guests. Thank sure you <laughs> so much for coming back. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, anywhere you can find a podcast. That's where we are. We're even in your. Tomorrow, yes. land, welcome. <laughs> oh, wait, just. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome, baby. <laughs>